we're being taken behind the doors that are normally kept closed. In here is the heart of government and it rarely beats so fast. So we've certainly got our work uh, cut out over the next uh, couple of weeks. We spent a fortnight filming the operation to deliver the Brexit vote. Known as the whips, it's these MPs who must discipline their colleagues. Amanda, you raised some issues within your flock about the backstop still um, being, being an issue. Yeah, the backstop, from, from my perspective, amongst my flock and my colleagues, is certainly the thing which is seemingly the sticking point. With many minds already set, it's down to the chief whip to change them. This is a historic time. I don't think the Whip's office has seen uh, anything like the meaningful vote. But uh, I think we've got a plan in terms of how we're going to engage with colleagues. It is one of the toughest tasks any Chief Whip has ever faced. You've got two weeks to do this. What do you think the chances are of you succeeding at this point? Um, I like winning, Paul. <laughs> Until now, we've known little about what Julian Smith likes. The Chief Whip cuts a lonely figure rarely speaking to journalists, but he invited us in where his turn in this office is like no other. The Prime Minister has said that she doesn't go to bed and dream of Brexit, but do you? I have to say I sleep very little and Brexit is always on my mind. It looks as though at this point up to 100 MPs in the Conservative Party and the DUP will vote down the deal. That must feel like a huge mountain to climb. Well, I'm not going to uh, get into to numbers. Uh, well, you are aware leaders. that there's big opposition. I'm aware that one or two people have uh, currently have issues, and some of the positions that are being taken now, I believe, can be can be changed. Book your seats in the library. It could be a late night. Chief, deputy, thank you, and thank you, everybody. Um, it is one of the most important parliamentary days. The whips meet at 11 each day, and this would be a difficult one. Please keep calling your flocks, doing the one notes, checking that everybody is here. But already, the numbers aren't stacking up. That day, the Prime Minister lost three votes, the chief whip at her side. To avoid a repeat on Tuesday, he spends his time meeting rebels like Philip Davis. So how do we resolve this by Tuesday? Because we need to get this... We well, need to get I'm, not sure that, I'm not sure that you can. I, I don't really see any alternative other Prime Minister going back to the EU and saying, look, we need something in here. The political implications of the amendment yesterday, the oh, Ben yeah. amendment, it's going to grow and grow. About that. The, this is the people against Parliament and the government should be on the side of the people. We are with this deal. That's my um, point. We are with this deal and we've got to get your support for it. We have to get your support for this deal on Tuesday. Inside his red box, the Chief Whip keeps a spreadsheet of every MP's position, which he won't reveal to our cameras. We've got lots of ways of tracking, but we do try to make sure we've got a clear picture of what every colleague uh, is thinking and what they, what they need in terms of making this decision. But with five days to go, he'll need a few more tricks in this box. How many minds do you think you've changed? Well, I'm not going to go into numbers, obviously. Is it more than whip, 50? The, the whip's office, his job, is to deliver the vote. As you know, I've got an uphill challenge with lots of people, lots of people in Parliament, trying to actually thwart what people said in that referendum in 2016. Because but it the, looks more as if MPs are coming out in opposition to the deal faster than you can persuade them. Well, I think MPs have got particular issues, and there's one particular issue that colleagues are concerned about, particularly above all. And it's this issue of the Northern Ireland backstop. And we're looking at ways to provide reassurance and to see if we can address that. If you lose the vote, what is plan B? There is no plan to uh, you know, plan for a vote loss. This is the deal. Will the vote definitely be on It'll, Tuesday? The, the, the meaningful vote is happening next Tuesday. And there's no chance you categorically rule out any chance of delaying the that vote? The meaningful vote is happening next Tuesday. Can you imagine any scenario under which Theresa May resigns before Christmas? I'm confident Theresa May will be the Prime Minister after the meaningful vote and will be the Prime Minister at and after Christmas. But it's also his future and ours that does come down to Tuesday. Paul Brand, ITV News.